do love how smooth that loading is. Long time to wait for that one. I think Verde is only one area away, but I think Ptolemy has a another area. Sarday, I have a favor to ask. Very well, I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Nords. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Nords and the merchant princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander, and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Of course. But you'll have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any noughts to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the noughts are still my family. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. I'll take the bullies. Shake up my team a bit. Ah, my money! It's gone. I know that's better, but it just seems wrong to put him in it. So I guess I'll let him keep wearing his outfit. If I remember right, that group on the hill will absolutely decimate me if I get in a fight with them, so I would rather not.
I wish aggro range was a little longer so I could just drag them into these bears, but oh well. Bears I can take. Bruh. Oh sure, they'll leave the traveler alone, but they won't they aggro as soon as I show up. I'm just aggravating, I understand. iron Go around my trap, that's rude. It's a Siri. Hmm. How are you? My good friend. I don't think the Enlightened came to their aid. You are like good. Are you enjoying the Jackbox stream? Playing Dauntless? How is it? Pedro, are you still with me? We're gonna go to San Mateus. Yeah, I've seen that much of it. Let me just set up camp in the middle of this existing camp, thank you. on my 
I was prepared for one of you, not both of you. Yeah, come on in. Boom. Not very cash money of these guys to just attack random travelers. Al Saad? Wait a minute. Are these guys spies? Is that why they're just attacking people on the road? That's very rude. In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants and Tirfredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Are you ready to hate all of Teleme? I am! That's my house. Welcome to San Mateus. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. <laughs> Renounce your gods! <laughs> Inquisitor. You. You wear the mark of the impure pagan cult of the natives. I am Inquisitor Aloysius, and by authority of my title, I order you to explain yourself. The mark on my face is by no means impure. You are walking on thin ice and are close to committing a grave diplomatic error. Diplomacy? If the truth of the Enlightened is obscured, then our relations are tainted and of no value. Answer my questions, or receive the punishment reserved for heretics. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only Okay, well, I'm not going to confirm faith, because that's too easy. I could go for the charisma check. Or I could tell him to fuck off. What do you guys think? 
the charisma check to tell him to fuck off, or just the straight up tell him to fuck off. I know Pedro likes to likes to do checks. Hit him. I can't hit him, unfortunately. It's a, he'll get his comeuppance later. Spoiler alert. Which which one option is that? Is it the check or the no? <laughs> Hit him with the check. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts to avoid We failed speak for themselves. Answer my question. All right, well, no, I am screw you. Believer. What are you going to do now? Burn me at the stake. Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Enough! This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter. I am certain that we shall meet again. What if I what if I hit him with my mace? Does does that please you, Pedro? I hit him with the check, that didn't work, so I hit him with my hammer. <laughs> my mace. Uh that did work. So Yeah, knockback is pretty tasty. And fortunately you don't have to deal with all the other ones. Young lady, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the mother cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you. And then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Hello, Tor. How are you? Should I do, like, have guests commentate Your on Eminence, this? In the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. Fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, 
If the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Hmm. The, the, the game is a lot of fun. I did see a review on it today that said that there was it, it, it was too boring because it was just a bunch of dialogue and it just kind of made me lose faith in gamers. But anyway, if you like Dragon Age Origins type games, the, this is definitely one worth looking into and it is currently on sale. Do we want to try out the new guy? Or do we want to keep Kurt? <laughs> Relationship level suspicious. I don't really want Petrus and Vasco though. So we'll keep Kurt. All right, I need to get back to town. Does it have romance options? It certainly does. Uh, currently among the teammates that I currently have, Petros is the only one not romanceable. And the only other teammate that we can get is not romanceable to a female character, but is romanceable to a male character. Gender locks, boo. Uh, no, I don't think you did, Pedro, but I'm glad you're still here and listening. Well, I mean... Oh, she's not with me. We can be gay. You absolutely can be gay. Vasco and Shiora are by options. And they're the best options, so it works out. <laughs> well, you're very busy losing in netball. I understand. I could be sad about it, but I understand. Oh, you did! You finally got one. Look at that little fat... Booger. I think if I go here and then take the fast travel back to town, I should get... So... Here. She's an option, he's an option, and he's an option. Okay. I mistimed it. I should have just gone straight back. Oh well. You know, I... Tor as a cannonball makes full sense to me, and Pedro as a little girl also makes sense to me. I'm still very curious about the context. But it all checks out. I have no quarrel with you. They don't see me, they don't see me, they don't see me. 
Hey, they didn't see me. Oh, you were the little girl with the bear. I understood that reference. Excellency, it is I didn't want you, I wanted the box. Come closer, good people. Secure and Are you welcome? It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? So, did they take the bait? Yes, Your Excellency, and I am very happy to see you. One of them came to the shop yesterday. He gave me 24 hours to raise the money required, which means that the entire gang could appear any minute now. Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And rest assured, I will not let them go. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. I hope you have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Leave this man alone at once. You're under arrest. We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss, and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? A bit of poison in my brain. Then let's go! <laughs> Grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade and my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin, but this is the first time they told me his name. If they let it escape, it was only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. My guy just hawking his wares in the middle of a damn firefight. No, I don't want you, I want the loot. There we go. Ooh. I think that's my first blue item. Where'd the big guy go? We must find this Egon. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly by that name. This is silver coin. Is your hat out of style? Does your best fill? Come closer, good people. Liqueur and wine from the continent. Tear for the alcohol. Yeah, you can. All right. Did Tor ask if who was okay? Do I need to be worried about someone? So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. 
As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. They've been as sweet as lambs since... Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my gin. No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Or I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone, even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now, don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There is no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. We would like to talk to you about the silver coin, Egon. It's now or never. Well, never been caught there before. Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Don't take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you were implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You were therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes, we'll see about that. To my help! And oh. to the others! Oh, a bit of poison on my brain. And let's go! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Let's see if you can ward off this Oh, come on, somebody walk into it. There you go. Of course not. So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me. You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on. I'd rather die. There's a poison on my brain. Well, if you insist. Show it to Manfred. So you actually get two, like, weapon loadouts, but I don't remember what the button is to swap V. Ah, okay. Yeah, usually I just set up, like, one weapon I like, and then I never use the, the other one. I remember this argument. Hello, Your Excellency. I conducted my investigation of in the spikes. extortion organized by certain members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. 
But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. That's he a camera. He a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty or terror? Terror, I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name, but as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency, take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future, the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Swing! A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fate. I love the uppercut with the mace. It's just so satisfying. Doink! No response from Pedro. I hope that I answered the question sufficiently. Let's go talk to cousin! Hey Nico, let's go bowling. Cousin, you have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. You don't appear to be in top form. Are house intrigues keeping you from finding proper sleep? No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus. Emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. I have been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me, then. Was your journey adventurous? Well... I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, your highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm impatient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing. And there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, 
believes the Malachor to be the result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our mother cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my daughter. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place, but they are unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets, and Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors... <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on her investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my daughter. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Constantine is best boy. Look out for yourself. Such a good lad. I have just seen that the call has gone out for movie night. Dessert menu. And also Seeker is flooding my chat with Doritos. So I may be ending this, and that's kind of a good break in the pace, I think. We've just finished introducing ourselves to the other nations and gotten to learn a few things. So next time we'll decide whether we want to deal with the Bridge Alliance problem or Teleme's problem first. And we'll see where the story goes from there. Until then, thank you all for joining, and I will see you next time.